Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a proper start to your industrious world. So as you'll see, we have a couple things. This is going to be like a uh, like a pretty much a beginner's guide. So you'll you'll notice a couple things. We have this research menu. We have settings. We have all these different tools. We have the code. These are codes. I really don't care if you uh, know what the code is because this is not a main world. But here we have um, our our P amount, which is research points, and then our uh, money count. So we're first gonna do is we're gonna look okay, in here. You could scroll out, scroll in and out. And what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to get these batteries because the batteries will allow us to store up uh, solar panels, uh, solar panel energy. Next, we're probably gonna save up for this, but there are two strats you could do to start. First of all, let's place a research station. $75, just like this, and then let's place a truck here. Now you could either do a mix of, so here, here, here's what usually happens, you either do a mix of research and money, just money, or just research, I'm going to do both. Uh, right now we're going to need, first let's start storing energy, so you're going to do this. Just like that. Now we're gonna take two coal. We're gonna put some machines down. We're gonna put four down actually. And you'll see we're gonna have this amount. And now we need to put short pipes. Uh, actually no, we're gonna first we're gonna need uh pipe junctions. Oops, pipe junctions. Just like this. And then, yep, they're already connected, which is amazing. I'm going to need one here, and then finally we're going to need a turn. And then, uh, due, to, due to a pass update, they should already be connected, but if they're not, uh, equip the pipe network tool. I'm just going to want to connect them, make sure the arrow is in here. And make sure it goes all the way down and goes into here. Now we're going to want to place a battery, so let's get a battery out, put it here, just like that, take the battery, because it's going to start, yep, yeah, it's going to start filling, connect it to all of these, you'll see, yep, you'll see we're going to start eat, we're going to start getting some coal in here. You see, we already, we already have some coal, which is amazing. And then once, so we can either manually sell it by pressing drive. We have auto sell on, you can turn it off. But we have it on, which basically means once it reaches 30 units, the truck is going to drive away. But let's, now that, because we have uh, a lot more money left, we're just going to do this quickly. We're going to get a lot more of these. Just because we can, that's about as much as we can afford. Perfectly okay. Okay, as you can see, it's going to start going up. We have 0 0.07 now, which is more than before. And as you see, we only have 30 RP, so we're going to want to get more. So you're going to connect this to here. You're going to see it start filling up like that. Just like that, it's going to start draining here. And then, as you can see, because it's full, it's going to start producing RP. And while that's happening, we also have this working, which is really cool. Because what this allows us to have is money, easy money, and then also research. The thing is, we are going to need a better power source, which is why we should focus on getting wind which we're going to need 100 for, so let's research this. We're going to need 30 more RP, which should not be a problem. 30 more RP, so we can get 40 RP, and then unlock the wind turbine. And with the wind turbine, you're either going to connect it directly to these machines, or you're going to connect it to the battery. Either or works. The wind turbine does cost some money, although you can see our truck just went away, so we are about to sell. We're about to sell um, 30 coal. 
We have 40, there we go. We have 40 now. We can research this. Congrats, we have unlocked the wind turbine. The wind turbine you could see right here costs 400. So because it costs 400, we're gonna disconnect this. We don't need it. We, we, don't, we don't need more research in the meantime. What we are gonna do, however, is we're gonna focus on powering all of this so we can earn more money and then get a wind turbine. And with that wind turbine, we can afford, um, we can afford to purchase, uh, we can afford, with the wind turbine, all these will begin working again. And then that means more money fat in a faster time, which is what we're looking for. Cause, uh, we're pretty good on, pretty good on research. As you can see, this will go one more time cause there's some stored up in there. Battery. Battery is filling up. Each of these. 6S6. Six ah, these weren't getting connected here. There we go. Ah, that, that was an issue before. Look at that. Okay, now it's, now it's filling up. Okay, there we go. That was a bit of an issue before. The pipes are going the wrong way. Pipes are going the wrong way. As I said, sometimes it messes up, but that's just alright. You could fix that. We might... As you can see, we don't have... See this here. Oh, it's still going. You can see this here. It's, it's, it's getting full, so we actually are going to need... We're going to need a um a better truck. So we can get the van. The van is a hundred RP. We have we have some we have some to spare here. So we can connect it. Once it gets to fifty, we're gonna disconnect it. Just for now. Actually no, no, we're fine. We're fine. We can keep that connected because we're gonna get a wind turbine anyways. As you see though, we're actually we're actually these are about a these right here are about to uh, lose power because all the power is getting drained by this. Because as it's night, all or only uh, solar panels only work during the day. So that's why the battery is not going to have any more power in it. It's going to be drained uh, by this thing and by the coal over here. Yep. Now we're just waiting for our income. And there we go. Now we can officially purchase wind turbine just like that and now you can see we're going to start getting a lot more power once this once the wind starts picking up but that should power it for a lot longer as you can see it's going to power everything this is 6 plus 6 plus 6 yeah we're definitely going to need a van so let's let's research a van real quick Let's research the van. It's right here. We're going to disconnect this. So once this drives off, <coughs> we're going to delete it. They're going to replace it with its van counterpart, which is in tier 2. Right here. Right here. It's it's 160, so we could definitely afford it, which is perfectly fine. We're just waiting for the truck to come back. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm gonna show you a couple things. So we have here the delete tool. So the delete tool allows us, as you probably have uh, saw before, to delete different things. So you simply click on it, like let's say this for example, and then you click on it again when it's highlighted, and it deletes. It's really cool. Okay, as you can see, we just did that. So let's place a van now. Let's make sure to line this up properly. Just like that. And let's connect it. As it's going to fill up all the way to 85 eventually. It may take some time though. Or it may, it may do it automatically. We'll see. And as you can see, it's going to drive off. Right, yep, there we go. And that's going to sell us, because 85 
85, how, how many times is 30 going to 85? Around 3, so that's going to be 3 times 100 and however much the last money gain was. However much the last money gain, uh, I think it was 160, if I'm correct. So 3 times that, that's how much our profit's going to be from this. And as you see, it's going to slowly fill up. And by the time the van gets back, it's going to be just about full. So it's going to be pretty much, pretty much always full. Which is really good. And then we always have this running because we can afford to have it running. As I said, yep, 443. The van's going to be back soon. And we're going to be just about full. So let's look at this. 80. And we're full. The van should be here in a second. You can actually... Yeah, it's going to be here in a second. But this is this is the perfect start to a uh, industrious world. This is pretty much, like, the best way you could possibly do it. If There there may be other ways that you could do it, but I feel like this is the best because it allows you to progress pretty far, pretty quickly. As you can see, the van just took it. Um... And let's see here. If we. Is there anything else I want to cover today? Uh. I don't think so. I think that's it. Oh, actually, we, we, could, we could research this. I really suggest researching copper. So you re research advanced extraction, then copper. And then replacing all this coal with copper drills. That is my suggestion. Because copper sells for quite a lot and you can see it's 190 so it is a bit pricey but when selling you should be able to afford it yep just like that then you can actually drag if, if you own the world you could drag like that to delete which is really cool so we're gonna place these here because we can afford it right now we can afford one more okay let's connect it up <clears throat> Just like this. Now we can connect these pipes. It's already connected there. Great. Amazing. How much coal is in here? There's some coal left. Perfectly fine. As you see, it just, dro it just drove off. Which will be just fine. Don't worry. Then we could take this battery here. And connect it to each and every one of these. You can hold shift to click multiple of them. Just like that. It is a bit laggy, but that might just be my Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. But now that we have this, we're just going to wait for... Once the truck uh, or van comes back, we're going to press drive. And then it's going to soon start filling up with all this nice copper. <clears throat> you can see the copper is already stacking up, which is really good. <clears throat> yep, you can see it just sold the coal. Now we're pretty much going to triple our profits, so we're going to be making like 1500 that way. Around there, 15, 1100, 1500, somewhere around there we'll be making. It's, I can't recall correctly, but somewhere around there. So let's wait for the van to come back. Oh, and one more thing. As I was saying about the server code, so you can press show here to keep the server code highlighted like that. Never put, never post your server server code publicly. We're just going to quickly press drive for this. Drift drive. J just get rid of the excess, and that's going to start filling up in copper. <clears throat> but the but the what, what's cool about the server code is that you can copy and paste it. So highlight, copy and paste. And then send it to a friend or someone in DMs or... Or just in, in on a piece of paper, but just don't put it publicly because people will come and probably grief you. That's just how the community is. Or not, not most of the community. There's probably a very small minority of the community. But that's just, you know, that's just how people are. But they can only join when this world is online. So if you turn your world off, people cannot join. <clears throat> people can only join when the server owner is here and soon there is going to be a multiplayer update so you can ban or kick people from your world which will be very helpful <clears throat> which might be uh, and you can also access permissions it's going to be it's going to be a good update okay just about when this is full 
the van's going to be back. And I know we're running on a bit long here, but I'm just going to show you how much profit we get from here because it's going to be. Because let, let's see, let's see how long we are playing, and I, and let's let, let's subtract. We've been playing for 15 minutes, and we're already going to be getting like a lot of money from this. And maybe subtract five minutes from that because I have done a lot of explaining and a lot of talking rather than doing. <clears throat> so that's always important to note. Uh, we can also. Next next video we'll go over this. I'm not gonna research it now, but next video we'll go over that. Some cool here. Envy battery, I'm gonna quickly research it because we might as well. This battery here. We're gonna can we can we replace it yet? Let's see. We can replace it. I'm gonna replace it. Can't place it there. Uh, I'm gonna place it here then. Okay, now everything's going to be running out of electricity, so we need to connect all this to here real quick. And then now we just need to connect this to everything. So here, 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 here. That's an MV battery. That's a lot of electricity. You can see it's going up pretty fast. <coughs> we can we can afford um we can afford another wind turbine. We might as well might as well. Might as well grab another one. No harm in grabbing another one, right? Now, as you see, now we're going to really start getting electricity, which is going to be great later on in the next video. But that's it for today. <coughs> uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all uh, learned something. And if you have any comments, you can leave them down below. Ask me questions. There will be a link to both my Discord server and... Uh, Mammy Team of Studios, which is the Discord server for this game, if you so wish to join. And there will be a link to this game as well. Hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you later. Bye. You can see how quickly that filled up, right? See that? It's a really, really good method. Anyways, bye.